Hi, this is Mr. Vandegraaff for our station number two when it comes to Newton's third law of motion. So I'm super excited. You guys should be on the computer where it says Newton's body surfing and it's gonna look like this. Um, so basically I'm gonna go through the directions and show you, we're gonna model it. Now again, with parent supervision, if you want to try to do some of these, absolutely, as long as your parents are supervising you to make sure everything is safe. But we're gonna be doing it right here in the safety of the classroom for you. All right, so what we're supposed to be doing on this one right here is we're supposed to get on a skateboard, okay? And let me put these down. Now notice, I've got my COVID shoes on, right? I'm all business on top, here to do Zoom and be professional. Whoops, but because this is distance learning, you know, I have a little freedom. Some of you are wearing your pajama bottoms on the Zoom calls, I know it. Now, I'm gonna make sure my wheel's right here. Good like that. I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna take this bowling ball. How am I doing there, Mr. Langhoff? Excellent. Am I on the green line? You are on the point of reference. Okay, so watch what I'm gonna do. On the count of three, I am supposed to take this, not throw it up. Whoa, whoa. You like a hard count, Mr. Vandegrift? Yeah, I need to throw it out. And I. the whole idea is that I can feel uh, the reaction force. So throwing the bowling ball this way, a heavy ball, is going to be the action, and the reaction force is the bowling ball pushing back in my hand and pushing me back this way. So do I look pretty close to the green line? Yes, here's your count. In three, two, one. Now, you take a look here. Here are your questions. One, what are the inner, or what is the boundary of the system? Okay, so you need to, define what the boundary is. Second, what are the interacting objects in the system and how are they interacting? That's what you need, right? So look at the system. Next, you're gonna draw a force diagram. Remember with the arrows? She should be drawing the skateboard, Mr. Vandergriff, and then arrows and the bowling ball, okay? So make sure the arrows are uh, how they should be showing the force. And then last, what could you change about the system that would cause more movement on the skateboard? I think in your directions it says scooter. So. What's interesting here, and we can weigh these later, I'm not sure, but this bowling ball is not, this is not that heavy. This is really light, okay? Maybe this is like a five pounder or a seven pounder. We'll find out. But now, this one, oh! That's really this, heavy. So I'm thinking, you know what I'm thinking, is if I have something more massive and I throw it, then that reaction force is gonna be more massive. and scientifically or theoretically, I should go backwards more. Let's see if uh, that happens. So. Ugh. Make sure you're on the point of reference, right, Mr. Vandegrift. There well, we go. The ball's getting away. Ah. So, actually I should put a little. All right. We're good. Yeah, my good. Right. <laughs> okay, so I'm okay right there? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so tell me when to go. Three. Two, one. Ah. Nice. That's Two, fun. 